Hi guys, today we're doing some DIY Pottery Barn inspired dupes. So let's get started. We're starting out with this color block glass mason jar vase. The blue around the base of the vase along with the greenery and the white flowers is absolutely stunning. So guys, I'm starting with a paper plate, some foam brushes, my glass vase that I picked up from Walmart, this Waverly paint in the color plaid, some duct tape, and these white flowers that I also picked up from Walmart. I'm gonna start by adding duct tape to the base of my vase so I can have that line of demarcation for where the glass is separated from my area that I'm going to paint. And now I'll prep my paint and get ready to paint my vase. All I'm doing is adding paint to a paper plate and I'll use my foam brushes to paint around the bottom of the vase. I'm starting with one coat and then I'll add another and I think that'll do it. And here's the finished product. I think my dupe looks pretty close to the Pottery Barn vase. You guys, take a look at it and tell me what you think. And keep in mind, you can use whatever color you choose that fits your decor for your color blocking on the bottom of your vase. I think this is a great dupe for a fraction of the cost. Next up, we're gonna dupe this natural rope mirror. I'm starting with this 19 inch mirror that I purchased from Walmart for $14.99. I also have my glue gun, my glue sticks, and I have this hyper tough twisted sizal rope that I'm gonna use. Now I'm gonna start by measuring all around the frame with my rope before I cut it so I can cut as many strips as I need to make sure that I have enough to go all the way around. Now because my mirror is beveled, I need to do two layers, so I cut enough strips of rope to be able to go around my mirror two times. Now I'm taping my rope down to the counter so that I can keep it in place while I braid. And then I'll begin to braid and I'll braid both strands of my sisal rope all the way down to the bottom. And here you see I have my two bundles of rope and I have extra rope in case I need more. And now I'll just use my hot glue gun to begin to glue my rope around my mirror in the first layer. And I'll continue this until I have the first layer all glued down. This may take some time because this sisal and hot glue do not love each other to begin with, but stick with it guys, it'll work. And now I'm going in with my second layer of braided rope to complete covering the frame. Okay. 
and I'll just continue gluing until I have the entire mirror covered. And you guys, look at this. I added it over the settee in my foyer and I think they complement one another well. And now we're moving on to this Tuscan handcrafted terracotta urn. You guys know I love my natural colors. So I am absolutely in love with this urn. So guys, I'm starting with this urn that I found while thrifting. You can check that out in my last video. I have, again, some paper pa plates <laughs> and paint brushes. I have this Waverly paint in antique. It's actually the antique wax. And then I just have some leftover white chalk paint. I'm gonna start by mixing up my paint. I'm going to start by painting the entire urn with the white chalk paint. Now I did let that dry before I get ready to add this second contrasting color. I'm taking some of the white chalk paint and mixing it with the dark wax and I'm going to continue to mix it until I have it the color that I want it to be. And I just gradually add a little at a time and mix it and I continue doing this until it's the exact shade that I'm going for. Now I'm going in with my contrasting color. Now I'm just making a design that looks similar to the one in the Pottery Barn urn and I'll do this all the way around and I'll add little touches of distressing to make it look similar to the Pottery Barn one. And you guys, I think this one is my favorite by far. And you guys, this last DIY project is not a Pottery Barn dupe, but it's something pretty special. That's right guys, we did it. We reached a thousand subscribers 
And you guys, I'm so grateful. We did it together. I could not have done it without you. So I filmed my reaction so you could see firsthand just how much this means to me. Thanks again, guys, from the bottom of my heart. I'm so appreciative of each and every one of you that has subscribed to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. You guys be blessed, and remember, it's all the little things in life that give us the sweetest, prettiest little pleasures. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.